Deadpool 1, 2, 3 here. Uh, I'm talking real quiet because, well, my mom's asleep and I really should be asleep because tomorrow's the first day of the new semester, so, but I really don't care. I'm not so much that I don't care, but I just really feel like I need to let you, well, I'm going to talk to you guys about something serious that happened uh, in a later video, but I'll go ahead and discuss my new additions. Well, one moved the Pueblin up there in that tropical climate. The Leo is growing viciously. This is the albino cow king. It's all over. We'll talk about that later. Luna and two new additions. Uh, first. So trying to be quiet. So here you can see I had this before this cage. If you can tell, this is a small glass cage. So show you guys what I got in here. bad about being scared. <sighs> she does get a little bit scared, but not not like some. She doesn't really flick hairs. Um, I haven't had her flick hairs or bite me. She gave me the enclosure with her everything in it. So I got a slog hide and this sponge and bowl. I do care videos on both of these guys. And that you guys see her move. Uh, oh, I really don't want to get flicked. But yes, I do hold her, and she is very, very. I like her, and I have more videos on her. Her name's Rosie, his name's Alf. And I got this because I really wanted a, a tarantula to see if I wanted a king baboon. I liked him because I want a king baboon, but. I'll explain all this in a later video, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what I got, so. See you later. Bye. Yay, guys. Alright, so this is the second clip. I'm back, and the reason I washed my hands is due to the fact that uh, rose hair tarantulas do flick hairs, and she was in a very pissy mood right now. This is the first time I've ever seen her really be aggressive towards me, and so I'm, I'm not sure if she got me with any hairs or anything, so I just washed my hands, I wanted to make sure that I don't get it on him, uh, so, yep, yeah, now we're going, or her, sorry, now we're going to take her out, I 
So yeah, she's like super, super bright. She's getting extra fat. That tail is getting huge. Look at her tail. It's just huge. Um. So yes, I will. Uh, sometime soon, probably end up getting her, uh, a mate. I would like to breed the Pregecto. Hold on, let's get her off my arm. Ah, the camera fell. Alright, so there she is. She's a, come on, get off. She's a real sweetie pie. Love her. Uh, she's getting pretty close to being an adult. Probably won't breed her for another year. Till next spring, probably. I'll have to look more into that. But I really just want to get her uh, a mate so I can breed them. They'll live in the same cage. I'll probably get uh, either a 15, 20 gal. Uh, blah, blah. Oh, blah, blah, oh, blah, blah, oh, blah, blah, oh, blah, blah, so sweet, I think she's just awesome, one of the most beautiful leopard geckos ever, so that is her update, she's doing good, she's extra fat, like I said, feeding her a little bit extra, I mean, by extra, I mean, like, one more mealworm than she used to be fed, about every, uh, few months I'd probably start feeding her one more mealworm until she's an adult. She's almost a full grown adult. I mean she's she's pretty fighty. She doesn't the only part she doesn't like is just getting pulled out of the cage. Other than that she's really calm once she get her out. <sighs> but I really like her. She's awesome. Now we'll move on to this, the tropical setup that I got for um my little play of a milk snake and yeah Tropical, so you want to lightly mist them once every, like, other day. So, yeah. That's about all you really need. Bam. All over the place. That's not condensation. That's just water that I put on there so it'll roll down into the vent. And he is right there. I'll get him out for you guys. If I can. Tour. All right, now I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of this. So we got uh, this plant right here. I want to get another one. Uh, some bake, some bake sticks that I got. Uh, bottom of a coffee cup cut off. That used to be in uh, my rat snake Bruce's enclosure. Another little hide. Now, I'm trying to get him out. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but this is the one thing that I have that's a total, like, jerk. He's always wanting to musk on you constantly. Which Puebla milk snakes are like that. They're very flighty, very don't want to be messed with attitude, very please, I don't want to be held kind of attitude. But eventually, after holding them a lot, you can get them calmed down. Musk! And that is my Puebla milk snake absolutely crazy and I will be doing an update on the cow king today because I have not done an update on her at all um there's the apricot playable milk snake let's get the luna I'm not sure that she's actually gonna end up breeding with my male she is in shed so she bites the camera I'm very sorry I have it zoomed in like full max. You can see her eyes are blue. And she's 
she's very, very milky. She looks really black. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not racist. But she does look really black when she's in shed. Chili and fire hair. Black emperor. Right, and here's Cal King. Just changed out her substrate uh, last night. Once I was done freaking out over Colonel, my mom told me just to chill and he would turn up eventually, so not to ruin the whole entire house. And to just relax and take care of the pets that I got in hand right now. So, yep, this is her. She, she puts on a big show. She really does. She rattles her tail, gets back in that S. Sometimes she'll hiss. Never really does anything, but she calms down after a little bit. You little freaking loon! You just... Yeah. Alright, here she is. And she shed while I was gone. She had a really big, fat, juicy, long shed. Yep. Big, fat, and juicy. A water dish. Cut out. She's sharing the heat pad. <laughs> right here we got Oliver and the Albino Reverse Oka Tea. Um, I might still end up getting uh, like a full grown. Alright, guys, we're back. Um, sorry, I ran out of film for a second, deleted a few old clips. And now we'll continue. So, yep, Oliver's enclosure right here. Um, Oliver, yeah, Reverse Oka Tea. Oh man, I gotta fill up this water dish from tomorrow. Don't worry, it's only been empty since like last night, so it's not a big deal. Here he is. He is a bit over a year. Really, really, really awesome. Corn snake. Love him to death. He's like my my everything right about now. Yeah, if he was the one that I lost, then I'd probably commit suicide. <sighs> Just kidding, I wouldn't get that far, but um, he's, uh, I will have to admit, he's probably my favorite. <laughs> I don't like to call favorites with my pets, but yeah. I don't know, it's a hard choice though between some of them. <sighs> uh, so yep, that's all the reptiles, woohoo! Go on to the fish. We still have the same fish right here in the saltwater enclosure. I gotta clean this tank too. I'm getting my shrimp. The guy I met a guy and he told me that uh, the the crown shrimp or the royal shrimp are both like. I mean, he said that they just work wonders on this tank. He only has two and he has like uh, a 30 gallon and he said it keeps it spotless. So that is the regular blue damsel, and then back there is the blue velvet, the one that was up here earlier. Um, over there's the African tank, or not the African, jeez, South American, so. Yeah, it's ridiculous right now after vacation. I do not know how. I think my mom just, like, fed on a bit too much because that little red thing was almost full. And I came back, and it's, like, almost empty. Oh. Big fish. Alright, you guys. Nope, I think that's everything. Mm hmm. I really wish we had Colonel here. I miss my little buddy. Hopefully, I'll find him. I really do. Uh, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Goodbye! I'm gonna be doing some feeding today, too. So, what's up?